Oil. Oil, otherwise known as petroleum or crude, is a thick black liquid composed primarily of hydrogen and carbon. The physical properties of oil, such as its thickness, vary greatly depending on the specific combination of hydrocarbon molecules. Oil also contains trace elements of sulfur, nitrogen, and oxygen. Today's oil deposits were formed millions of years ago when dead marine organisms sunk to the bottom of the ocean bed and were buried under deposits of sedimentary rock. After subjection to intense heat and pressure, these organisms underwent a transformation process by which they were converted to oil over millions of years. This is why you may have heard oil referred to as a fossil fuel. Oil is found in underground geological formations called reservoirs. The rocks found in a reservoir have various physical properties that allow them to hold hydrocarbon reserves. Through exploration activities such as seismic, surveying, rock core sampling and other advanced technologies, geologists locate oil reserves. Oil is extracted from the reservoir most commonly by drilling a well. Once recovered, oil is transported by pipeline, ship, rail or truck to a refinery where it undergoes a complex refining process that creates petroleum products like gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, asphalt, and many more. Currently, the world uses oil primarily to power its transportation system and to create commonly used synthetic products like plastics and petrochemicals. The production and use of oil presents social and environmental challenges. Producing oil causes land disturbance, sometimes in environmentally sensitive areas. Oil-powered transportation systems contribute to global greenhouse gas emission levels. And control of oil resources is a persistent factor in geopolitical tensions globally. That's oil. Power plants that burn oil to produce electricity are called oil-fired power plants. They are no different in general principle and operation from their fossil fuel cousins, the coal-fired and natural gas-fired power plants. Using oil and other petroleum products to generate electricity is the internal combustion engine which works by converting the explosive potential of burning petroleum and its derivatives directly into mechanical energy and then using the mechanical power to run a generator. There are three technologies that are used to convert oil into electricity. Conventional steam, combustion turbine, and combined cycle technology. Conventional steam is when oil is burned to heat water to create steam to generate electricity. Combustion turbine is when oil is burned under pressure to produce hot exhaust gases which spins a turbine to generate electricity. Combined cycle technology is when oil is first combusted in a combustion turbine using the heated exhaust gases to generate electricity. After these exhaust gases are recovered, they heat water in a boiler, creating steam to drive the second turbine. Now I am going to explain to you the basic operation of oil-fired power plant. Firstly, by turning the shaft of the generator, we will be able to generate electricity. The generator derives motion from a steam turbine, the heart of the power plant. In order to turn the steam turbine, you have to supply a high pressure and high temperature steam at the inlet of the turbine. As the turbine absorbs energy from the high energy fluid, its pressure and temperature drops toward the outlet. High cap High capacity power plants often use different stages of steam turbines such as high pressure turbine, intermediate pressure turbine and low pressure turbines. So now we have met our objective, we have produced electricity from the generator by moving these turbines. If we can bring the low pressure and low temperature steam back to its original states which were of much higher pressure and temperature, we can repeat the process. The first step is to raise the pressure using a condenser. A stream of cold water flows through the tube. The steam rejects heat to the liquid stream and becomes condensed. 
now we can use a pump to increase the pressure of the feed water to its original state the next task is to bring the temperature back to its original value for this purpose heat is added to the exit of the pump with the help of a boiler next oil is burned inside the boiler the incoming water initially passes through the walls of the boiler heating up the water created by the burning of fuel where it transforms water into steam and finally the steam is channeled into the steam turbines thus rotating and generating electricity also an extra information the condenser needs constant cool liquid cool liquid is supplied at the condenser with the help of a cooling tower the heated up water from the condenser outlet is spread in the cooling tower which induces a natural air drift and the spread water loses heat this is how a colder liquid is always provided at the condenser inlet electricity can also be produced at thermoelectric fuel burning generating stations that can burn fossil fuels large amount of fossil fuels are burnt every day in power stations to heat up water to produce steam which further runs the turbine to generate electricity the transmission of electricity is more efficient than transporting coal or petroleum over the same distance therefore many thermal power plants are set up near coal or oil fields the term thermal power plant is used since fuel is burnt to produce heat energy which is converted into electrical energy oil fired power plant can be divided into four main departments which is oil storage combustion chamber turbine and generator One oil storage. Two combustion chambers. Three turbine. And four the generator. Oil station. Oil is brought to power station by pipeline, transportation, and etc. Combustion chamber. Combustion chamber is a device for generation of steam for power generation. Turbine. Turbine is used to govern and regenerate the feed water heating. Generator. The turbine is directly coupled to the generator rotor and electricity is generated. So we move to the advantages of oil-fired power generation. First, oil power plants can be fed by large tanks or a pipeline. These can provide a constant supply of oil for the uninterrupted operation of the plant. Second, oil is so readily available. It is a cheap solution in helping to meet global energy requirement. Third, once extracted from the ground, we can store oil in barrels or tanks. This allows us to keep reserves of oil readily available. So next is the advantages of oil by power generation first crude oil is a non renewable resource meaning it will one day run out second oil release sulfur dioxide gas when they burn which may contribute to acid rain lastly oil energy also produce greenhouse gases which contribute towards climate fire power station around the world power generation plant consists of shaiba power and distillation plants of the arabia kashima power station in japan kolesen curve generating station in canada wiganaki power station in new zealand first the shaiba power and distillation station plant located in south jeddah at the arab saudi They are starting operation in complete phase 
this is of the one of the world largest fossil fuel power generation owned by Saudi considered electric company they have 14 unit operation and total capacity 5600 megawatt for the each unit operation produce 400 megawatt for this power station burn 76 and 800 tons per day Kashima power station located in Ibaraki Japan they are starting operation in complete phase 2014 this is the world largest fossil fuel will owned by Tokyo Electric Company Power Company. They have nine operation unit and the total capacity for 5,660 megawatt. They have three type unit operation. The first one is 1,000 megawatt. Second is 600 megawatt and the last 420 megawatt. Collection Curve Generating Station located in New Brunswick at the Canada. Their starting operation in 1976, owned by Count Corporation and be powered one of GSC company for Canada Canada government. They have three unit operation and the, the total capacity of 1050 megawatt. For the each unit to operation produce 350 megawatt. For this power station, burn 5 millibarrel of oil for each unit operation. And the last is Viranaki Power Station, located in Viranaki, New Zealand, owned by Contact Energy. Their static operation generated using diesel, diesel opened in 2004. For the unit operation designed by and we need total 3 unit gas turbine and total cap for this capacity is 155 megawatt each operation produced 51.6 megawatt approximately 4 milliliter diesel can be stored in this site at the power station this power station support electricity to north new zealand population